A variable lap bench power supply is a very important instrument to test circuits. It's mandatory for an electronic hobbyist. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily make one by yourself. So let's get started. The first thing you will need is a power supply of 12 volts. I'm going to use two of them. But if you ask why two of them, then I'll come to it in a bit. But make sure that they have same power output. The second thing you will need is a step down converter to adjust the voltage through the help of a potentiometer. So I make a PWM circuit based on any triple five timer with couple of more components to generate a square wave whose duty cycle is controlled by this potentiometer. And if you are wondering what is PWM, then you should have to check my previous video on the subject of PWM signals. So here these two relays are used to connect the port supplies either in series or in parallel. Meaning that if I turn on the first relay, I get a parallel of two supplies, which would increase the output current. And if I turn on the second relay, I get the serial connection of both supplies, which will increase our voltage to 24 volts. So after soldering the inductor and a capacitor for smoothing out the voltage, the circuit was complete. And now it's time to put everything in a box. I'm going to use this small box because it also has ventilation slits. Additionally, you will also need two binding posts an AC switch, a knob for a potentiometer, voltage and current meter, and two push buttons. So afterwards, I marked all the positions where I want my components to be placed. After making all the holes in the front panel, I installed all the components in it. Then I extend the three pins of potentiometer and solder a male header. I also use shrinking tubes to protect the connection. Then I connect the main power to both power supplies and their output wires to the circuit board. Make sure to use thick gauge wire so they can handle high power. As always, a link to the circuit diagram and the part list is given in the description so you can easily rebuild this project. During the testing of this supply, I realized that whenever I show the output, the power supply trips, which also turn off the display, which I didn't like. So I used an additional 5 volt adapter, whose circuit I took out from its enclosure and then soldered the output wires to the meter. After everything was complete, I closed the top cover and used 4 including screws to tighten it up. And all there was left to do is to make some connecting probes. For this, you will need two banana plugs, two alligator clips and some wires. So you have to solder the red clips to the red wire and black clips to the black wire. It's pretty simple. Like I said, super useful and can power everything with a maximum of 10 ampere in 12 volts in parallel connection and 5 ampere in 24 volts in serial connection. This thing is much more powerful than my old 1 ampere power supply. If you like this video then please don't forget to like it. Also subscribe to this channel and share this video. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video.